Okay, I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. What's up? What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zosh, Percy Mess Scuddy, but you can call me an owner of a broken Integra. Well, it's not really broken, but today's video, we're going to be um, going over the coolant system. And yeah, pretty much I'm trying to figure out the best route, not route, but thing to do to fix my uh, coolant issue that I've been having. Uh, if you're unaware, the issue that I'm having is where I've been bleeding the hell out of the system for like the past three days and I'm still having an issue where my car would get up to temp, like normal temp, like 180, 190, normal stuff. But when I go to drive, like my, my initial drive, my temps would just climb. The more I rev the car, the more I drive, the higher the temps would go, which is weird, but I'm thinking it has something to do with the way my intercooler oil cooler and radiator is designed will set up as of now. So it goes my intercooler, then my oil cooler, and then my radiator. So the oil cooler is giving off way too much heat into the intercooler, which makes the intercooler, the coolant, hotter than what it needs to be because once fresh air hits the intercooler, then it hits the, um, the oil cooler. The oil cooler is basically getting intercooler temp of, of fresh air, so there's a blockage between the intercooler and the radiator, which caused by the oil cooler. Follow along, pay attention. <laughs> you thought, you thought I was gonna let this month go without, <laughs> you crazy man, you crazy. Fellas, hot girl summer, it's almost over. Fellas, it is our time to shine. Ladies, you can shine too, we don't discriminate over here. You can shine too, but fellas, this is especially for us. You know what happens in the fall? Hmm? Do you know what happens in the fall? Spooky season. We have to make sure, heading into spooky season, nothing on our body, you feel me, is spooky. Bomba clutch on sun. Take it to the island. Bomba clutch. Yup. You know the vibes. No shave November is like two months away. We are not participating. Fellas, if we want the buns and some fun, we can't have our lawn unattended, fam. We can't, no, no. What are you doing? What are you, do no, no, no. I care for you way too much, okay? I care for you way too much, no. You see this? This is the perfect package 4.0 performance kit. This right here will get you right. <laughs> I mean, trust me, it's tried and true, player. Oh, you don't live in the States? You live in Singapore, maybe? Africa, maybe? Australia, maybe? All of Europe, maybe? Canada, maybe? Well, guess what? Manscaped now ships internationally. 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 All the homies and female homies across the world can now be manscaped. Yes. Ladies, you too. I know you care, but I know. So in your performance package kit, you will receive, that's right, player. This right here will revive them sweaty balls of yours, pimp. You'll be back in action in no time. And you'll also receive ball deodorant. This thing is super effective. After a nice shower, put this down on your testy westies, and you'll be smelling well, I can't say Casey, that was fire. Pause. Big pause. But you'll smell nice. And we can't forget the Lawnmower 4.0. Boy, this bad girl right here is a beast. And if you're one of the homies out there with like ear hair or nose hair, <laughs> the Weed Whacker. <laughs> Get your right, pimp. And for the best part of it all. <laughs> yup. That's right. Right now, use code Zosh. Get 20% off and free shipping. Also, you receive two free gifts. Order quick. Hurry. Get over there. Manscaped.com forward slash Zosh. Use promo code Zosh to save 20% off and free shipping. I told you I love you. And huge thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. So, my goal is to relocate the oil cooler more... Um, no, northeast, south, west, 
northeast, east? I don't know, bro. Basically, move my old cooler from the driver's side to passenger side. Simple. Only hard thing about that is I might re, uh, be out of a lot of fluid. Well, hmm. Not really, because it goes from the top. I should be fine to relocate it without losing fluid. I, I might lose fluid. I'm definitely gonna relocate my oil cooler to be more this way. So as you can see, my oil cooler is right here. I'm gonna basically relocate it right here in this area. So that's what I'm gonna do. That should hopefully alleviate um, most of that issue. And then my fan, I am running an 800 CFM small fan. And I think I'm gonna upgrade it to a uh, 1200. So that should definitely help as well. And I should be good. We'll see. But let's get the bumper off again and start the relocation process. All right, so obviously I'm supercharged, big ass intercooler. Small little uno poquito radiator. And then you see my oil cooler, which I just removed. You can see how high it was previously. It was way up there. So my intercooler used to be mounted like up top of here, which basically covered half of the radiator. So all the good that would come through here would go through the uh, intercooler, I mean the oil cooler first, then the radiator. So the radiator was getting nothing but how to eat. So what I'm gonna do, is space out this oil cooler to be way over here somewhere. So I can possibly have it mounted closer to here. The only thing with that is, oh, actually nothing really, cause I could just mount this closer right there and then I just gotta get this line extended, which I have to figure out where what kind of line this is. I gotta go buy this. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to do. My only concern right now, I hope this shit doesn't leak. I hope this one don't leak. The only, only one I have to remove is this one. Uh, possibly that one too, but I just hope this shit don't leak because if it leaks I gotta buy more fluid and that shit's expensive son. So hopefully I'm okay. I hope we'll see. What's up? It's been like two hours um, back home got the hose that I needed It also picked up a uh, little um, Socket set because I lost like four craftsmen's so just replaced it with some dirt last stuff but now as you guys can see, I relocated the oil cooler over there, so now I should have direct airflow. It should be better than what it was before, and then I'll go from there. I'll start the car up and do all the things, see if that um, improves anything. And I didn't even know this, but they sell a um, IAC thing to where this will point towards the car so then I can run a big fan and be good so I am gonna end up buying a better a bigger fan and I could just relocate my IAC to face forward so that is awesome didn't know they sold that but now that I know that they do we're good so shout out to the homie Keem for letting me know about that let's get the new uh, hose on the uh, oil cooler and uh, start this John up and see what temps looking like though playboy So I have the car raised up in the air, no jack stands. So forgive me, I won't be on here for long in case I do want to plan on being here for long. But um, my oil cooler is mounted like this, right? I'm gonna go buy some brackets, some L brackets, and uh, bracket this down so this would be stationary. So that right there, it won't do that. So I'm gonna get some something to hold it down, to hold it still. I was thinking maybe 3M tape to be honest. Like if I 3M tape, now nah, I'm gonna have to bracket it. Cause, but if I were, I mean it'll hold on both sides too. Hmm, do like some little slap of 3M tape there. It ain't going nowhere. I mean, this ain't going nowhere right now, but uh, just gotta go buy some L brackets from Home Depot. Well, not L brackets, but uh, braces, bracket, brace brackets or whatever they're called and uh, do that. But so far, it's mounted. The oil cooler is relocated somewhere else. So that's good. That should give us some direct airflow for this thing. Um, 
yeah I'm just gonna order another fan anyway but I'm pretty sure that was my problem I'm pretty positively sure that was my problem but uh, let's go order not order but let's go to Home Depot and get some braces and then come back home and finish up this thing and then we'll go for a drive and see what's up bro this was I promise you guys this was just clean like a day ago it's ridiculous but what's up it's the next day sunny outside Last time you see me, I was thinking about mocking up how I'm going to mock up my oil cooler, but I did it. I did it with zip ties, and it is not going anywhere. So, what I'm going to do, lower the car, get this out the way. Shout out to Ryobi for sending me a bunch of shit. I appreciate you guys. I actually got to take product shots and post it on Instagram, but I'm actually using it to make sure it works. I've been using that to cut my grill on the bumper, all that. But, we're good. Um, what I'm going to do right now, lower the car. Actually... I should start it and maybe bleed it, but I think it's already bled though, bruh. I'm pretty sure the car's bled. But uh, we're gonna see what's going on with this thing. And yeah, that's what we're pretty much gonna do. We're gonna test out the new flow of the old cooler, make sure everything is copacetic. Uh, I actually gotta go to the post office and see what's going on with one of my shipments. So yeah, I leave the car jacked. I actually jack it up more. God damn, I got two stuff for me. I'm gonna... I have it to where my fan turns on at like 205 and then I'm gonna turn the fan on and see if anything changes if it drops temps when the fan come on all the way down lower and all that stuff because normally I would have the temps up to like 210 uh, turn the fan on and it'll go to 204 and then it'll like if I rev it a little bit it'll go back up so which means that it was, was really circulating anything because the oil cooler was giving it hot ass heat to the radiator but now that the oil cooler is relocated I should be fine so ECT is going up I got it to where it comes on at 202. So we'll see once you get up the tip and everything. Cold start, gang, you know the vibes. We in a high ass, rich ass idle. Front bumper and the splitter is back on. I now figured out a sort of um, diagnosis, kind of. I've been speaking to people who are also Craftworks supercharged and have a case swap and half radiator. And I was talking to this one dude. I have his name on the screen if I don't be lazy and not edit it in there. But huge shout out to him. And he was basically telling me the same thing. He has a vented bonnet. Um, he has a, I think, either a Mishi or a K-Tune half-size radiator. Uh, the same go out of works front mount, but he has an EK chassis. That's the same stuff. But, um, yeah, he said the same thing I'm having. Like, yeah, attempts to reach up to 200 if I get on it. Things of that nature, then I have to, like, let it cool down. But I guess that seemed like a common thing. But I'm gonna try my best to help alleviate those issues by having some ducting done to the radiator. Um, close up any uh, thing that in my, bro, it's a lot. Vented bonnet. Um, yeah, man, I just gotta figure out best ways to get more airflow into the radiator. I'm also going to run a bigger fan like I've been mentioning in this video. Um, I'm gonna order that today so that can get here soon. But yeah, man. There she sits, bro. That front mount intercooler looks beautiful, bro. Me relocating the oil cooler helped a lot. Like, I was beating on a car earlier, um, and uh, temps were like, they wasn't too, too bad, bro. Like, they weren't too bad at all. It's hot as hell outside as well, but like, the temps wasn't too bad. Um, it helped a lot by not having the radiator, then the oil cooler, then the radiator. So now it's just intercooler, then radiator. I just gotta do some proper ducting and I should be solid, uh, bigger fan, and I should be good. But for now, that's it, brother. That is it. Not sure if you guys can see or hear the uh, rain behind me, but uh, I'm gonna take the car out and actually get some diagnosis of my temps. Now that I relocated my fan properly, got the bumper back on, so the, the bumper actually adds ducting um, to the ports, not ports, but to the places that the radiator should get it. 
I was thinking about like cutting a hole here and then having direct airflow to the radiator, but nah. I can't do that to an old OEM bumper, bro. Which I know I need another one anyway. This bumper is clapped. But uh, yeah. So I went ahead and ordered a relay kit and a spall fan. The relay kit comes in today. The spall fan comes in Friday. Today is Thursday at the time of this recording. Um, yeah, so I guess I should just keep the car in and just wait for the relay kit to get here and just uh, run the, uh, the uh, relay kit already. And then when the fan gets here, just slap in the fan, make a part two to this video, seeing what my temps would be. But from talking to James Houghton, drives the uh, Integra Type R, the K-tuned Integra Type R that does grid life and things of that nature. The, the freaking man, the myth, the legend, James Houghton. James is the GOAT. But he was like, bro, your temps are fine. Like, actually, that's actually pretty cool. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, if it doesn't go over 220, I wouldn't even worry about it. And I was like, what? Like, before, my temps would get be higher when I didn't relocate the oil cooler. But me relocating the oil cooler, my temps are significantly lower. Like, I can beat on the car and it had reached like 204, 208. But apparently that's fine. I don't know, it always weirded me out seeing Honda uh, um, go over 200 attempts, but like that's pretty normal, especially for modern day cars. Like most modern cars, the fan don't even come on to like 202 degrees or 200 degrees. And I think factory, the fan comes on at 202 degrees. Thermostat opens at 190 on the OEM or 194 on the OEM thermostat. So maybe 205, 210 degrees of a supercharged car isn't that bad so i don't know i'm just gonna still try to alleviate as um, uh, much as i can by adding the spall fan um and uh the relay to really pump out all 1400 sims and yeah so that's pretty much what it's gonna be like i would drop the car today man but i can't because it's raining and i don't want to come in here and work on like a rainy floor and all i'm not doing all that so i'll leave the video here part two will be up very soon i got some eighth gen content on the way as well so stay tuned if you enjoyed this video then leave a like on the video if you did not enjoy this video then leave a dislike on the video all in all nah, i don't give a f Ugh. i would enjoy if you hit the like button um it actually helps the channel grow so i can make money and um not quit youtube so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to get you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.